Hello dear friends, let's have a chat. So I will explain you some of uh, the things I do uh, these days. And this one, for example, these days I did a lot of uh, coloring things and play around. So first, this board. This board I got from, um, from the uh, food packaging, actually. When, when uh, our school or something buy some croissant, this one, the bread, this one they put in a big tree, a big tray, under the tree, like uh, a, to make the, the big box, maybe donut or something, but we, we bought croissant. Uh, croissant. So <clears throat> uh, in those food box, there is one of these, and then they put a layer of uh, protecting paper, wax paper or something. And uh, so this one is below below that wax paper and I'm reusing it to have some fun. And uh, the reason I use it is just to, just I want to <laughs> use some, some of this uh, uh, flat surface. And uh, also, I got friends asking about uh, this meat tray. Uh, I sincerely, I do not know whether you are serious or not. I mean, I mean, I understand you are a very serious person, and uh, it surprised me that uh, asking this question, where do I get it? I got this meat tray from the food packaging. Sometimes meat, when we buy some chicken legs, and sometimes when we buy some um, uh, mushroom or noodles or something that uh, that need a kind of soft packaging, uh, a, a little bit harder packaging, they have this. I think it's very easy to find this kind of tray. So this is where I got it. And sometimes we buy sushi. Sushi usually, usually have a better packaging. Anyway, some... Some, some food we bought from the, the cooked food. I, I never buy this uh, intentionally. I never buy this uh, separately. It's all from food packaging. Okay, so I hope this can, can, can answer what you are asking if, if I understand you right. Okay, so, and this color are the school uh, used the color. It's, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. No sound. I I, I will I will um, I will press the sound. So there's not too much funny noise. So there's not too much funny noise coming. Okay, so this one is done. Blue paint. This one. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> sorry, I'm so sorry. I didn't do it intentionally. I promise. Okay, so we we'll just use some of the old paints and uh, to finish them. There's not other, really other goals because they are getting. Uh, Worse and worse, they are getting um, chalky and getting getting not easy to use. So I am just using it, and while I am having fun, am I allowed to do so? So this time, what shall we do? I will try to to apply a layer of uh, color very even. How about we make it even? Try as much as I can to make it even. Sorry, I cannot find the other brush. 
This one is too hard. Maybe I did not clean it well. So I will use a soft brush. And this one, I think I still have some on, on my Etsy shop. This one is a gold hair brush. And it's a natural hair, so some hair comes out, not like the nylon brush, so you get off the, the loose hair at first. Not so often happens, it's just because last time I used it too strongly. And this hair is so much softer, you see? Softer, softer. And this one is so strong, ding, ding. It's like metal. This one is very soft, so. Let's just have some fun and apply a layer of background on top of it. So, <clears throat> if you want to get uh, an even background, you make sure that your hand moves always the same direction. Do not zzz, za, ding, ding, do too much funny actions. Do always the same. Same weight, same strength, and if the board moves, you can put some um, scotch tape on the bottom. If you do not, you can hold it for when it is not touching. Oh, there is telephone. I'm sorry, I need to pick up. Before it is getting dried, keep working, keep working. Wait, Bubber. Jali. Oh, not that Okay, anytime. Shemu Shiho. Okay, you have to turn to the end of 对, 最好, OK, 好的, 好的, OK. OK, OK, so keep moving very evenly. So we put some little happy trees and we put some cloud and just very happily easily and uh, your hand is dancing see your hand is dancing ballet da 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 okay when it is dried get some more color so this way you can get layer after layer of color. If you want to get one homogeneous, all part the same color, then you start from beginning to the end, always the same color. And uh, what do I do now? How about we put, no, I do not have enough same color. So I have no choice but to change color. So um, although I change color, but the theory is still the same, right? If you want to get an even layer of color, do it slowly, nicely, calmly, and layer after layer, and keep Dancing, your hand keep on dancing. Here we need to put some more. That break, that evenness, no problem. When you do it strong, you scrape out the color. And 
when you do it light so see which part you need more then get more give it more which part need less give it less how fun it is that's a very even color keep on working so maybe you can start with a little bit more of color Although I am trying to teach, actually I'm learning, I am not teaching. It is quite a, a, a humiliation to say that I'm teaching. I do not want to humiliate your intelligence. Okay, so keep on doing very loosely. And make sure your hand is always the same almost always the same it is moving not good okay let me fix it here put some weight on one part the color is not even because i'm running out of one color but the color layer the color density is the same Okay, I make sure that so one layer. I make a blue background. I don't know why I do it, just to have some fun so that we can chat, right? Mostly for for the purpose of chatting. We paint for the purpose of paint. Okay. Mm -hmm. This one is a tempura color. Tempura. It is very delicious, the tempura, right? <laughs> I'm kidding. Let me be, try to be serious. It's hard to be serious, actually. It's very hard. It takes a lot of effort and courage to be serious. More and more, you are getting an even background. Don't you think it is meditating and fun to do that? I think so. Quite enjoyable to do this. Now it is hard to fix it. it then you can put anything you like this one is a blue background but not a totally flat blue there are some change of blue and which makes it more interesting don't you think so we do not want to want things to be uniformly the same we want it to be to be as free as it is. Okay, so now you can see the paper become 
um, um, oval shaped raised up in the in the middle because it is getting wet and let it get dry you see when it is totally dried it is absolutely flat so <clears throat> now it's raised do not be afraid of it it just have some small tiny character want to show us some of his tiny carrot do not take it as a big deal just keep doing whatever you need to do and dry it up then it will be flattened again okay see you later alligator i'm going to do another piece since i'm having so oh, 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 oh. So much fun doing it. I am not going to stop right here, right now. It is very, very, very messy, especially me. I, if you have some better method of uh, doing, please let me know. I try to learn to learn to do it smarter and better, smarter and better. I understand that my way is one of the, one of the least intelligent way. So if any of you have any tiny little bit more intelligent way, let me know, let me know. Sorry, I'm blah 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 so much. Must be quite annoying, right? I am sorry. Very, 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 very sorry. Okay, let me see if I have more paper so that I can do another piece. One, I will color it up so that I can reuse it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do another blues. Yeah. Okay. Another red ball. Having a lot of fun. It is so unfair that myself having so much fun. This one I use blue and purple. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. Okay, I will stop this video and do another video. Maybe it's still saying blah blah blah, okay?